Raphael, the cold, cruel head of the Sorel family, is known for his fencing prowess and deep knowledge of medical science. Though still young, he has survived numerous plots and venomous political strife to establish his family as part of the ruling elite. However, when the evil seed occurred, a noble that he had backed went violently insane and attempted to kill the king. Seeing this as the perfect opportunity to strike, Raphael's political enemies blamed him for the incident and attacked his Paris home. Betrayed one by one by those around him, Raphael fled to his birthplace, Rowan, in order to mount a counterattack. Though he arrived safely after shaking off his pursuers, he did not get the welcome he had hoped for. Nicola, why are you fraternizing with the enemy? Dear uncle, it is you who has driven me to this. How could you support a traitor who sought to slay his highness? You have nowhere left to run, Lord Raphael, former head of the House of Sorel. So even my own flesh and blood would debase themselves to save their own skin. You think by selling me out, the same won't happen to you? We are simply doing what you have taught us. Trust no one. Those of no worth must be cast aside, even one's own parents. Such callous teachings are worthy of your fearsome reputation. But no matter. In a few days, your head will be paraded about the streets of Paris. Arrest him! Sewers must I slay? He's headed into the slums. You lot secure the surrounding area. I have nothing left. Life is but a series of betrayals. None shall give me a second glance if I look like this. <clears throat> oh, a pauper's daughter? I heard something over here. No. This back alley can't be my end. You, child, a strange noble passed through here, didn't he? Tell me where he went. Okay. Is this, this how my life, life is, is to end? end? Betrayed, Betrayed by, by a child? child? He went over there and hid behind the horse cart. The coward! After him! He should still be nearby! What? What? They're gone now. Indeed. You saved me. Nah, I just wanted to annoy them. Still, I'm glad. So, tell me your name. Amy. 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 You're silly. Why cry when you're safe?
This should do it. Just don't touch the wound. Thanks. Us poor folk never get to see a doctor. Then again, it's not as if we've any reason to live. In my short while here, not one of these people has spoken with hope. You know, life's strange sometimes. Red's a loner and normally doesn't trust others. Speak of the devil. Farewell. Hi, Raphael. I have some bread. It's not much, but here. You're too kind. The money I earned... Oh, no. He left without paying. Jamie. I've been wondering, Amy. Do you not have a family? Don't know. I've always been alone as far back as I can remember. It must be tough for an orphan to fend for herself. Hope only leads to despair. At least when I'm alone, no one can betray me. Right? From, From a young, young age, age she's, she's never, never trusted, trusted anyone. anyone. Just, Just like, like me. me. Whether, Whether one, one is, is rich, rich or poor, or poor life, life is equally, equally twisted, twisted and, corrupt. and corrupt. Someone's coming. Hide. Why, hello, Red. You're a slippery one. Everyone around here has paid their protection money. Except you. What is it? Have you found yourself another bodyguard? Huh. Don't be stupid. I know you've got some vagabond looking after you. How dare you bring trouble to my territory! First, your left leg. Then... Filthy vermin! Unhand her now! Are you all right? Show me your leg. You didn't need to come out. Getting hit's no big deal. It's normal. No, Amy. It's not. That's not the way the world is. Really? You've given me a future. In return, I must give you the same. Go ahead, if that's what you want. of a French sword, and it's failing. Indeed. However, there is someone whose life I must protect. That's why I must learn the best technique Spanish swordsmanship has to offer. Very good. A sword is indeed for protection. You must move with rhythm and swing your sword with passion. On guard! Ah! 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 
Excellent. All movement must come from the heart. You appear to have grasped that concept well. I'm grateful for your instruction. Actually, I have one more request. This girl. I'd like her to learn to protect herself. <laughs> Such a sense of caution. It's difficult to teach one who keeps a lock on their heart. However, I may know someone who can be of assistance. Really? Please introduce us at once. Raphael, you're such a dummy. Raphael, I'm cold. Hold my hand. Sorry, Amy. How's this? We must find sanctuary, no matter what it takes. I can't teach you properly if we keep having to escape. Raphael Sorel, I never thought I'd see you on French soil. How unfortunate for you to run into us. Ugh. I thought we'd be safe over the mountains. Are you sure you all want to come at me without reporting my discovery first? We're not falling for that old trick. We'll only need to send a report of your death! Amy, do you remember what I taught you? Strike the enemy true, one by one. You need only worry about protecting yourself. Fight! Ready? No. anything to happen to the girl, do you? Amy! Let her go! Certainly. In exchange for your life. You win. Amy's everything to me. Raphael! You dummy! Amy? Cut that branch! Ah! Ooh. What the? 
the snow. Damn you! Yeah! <laughs> Stupid brat. Is that all of them? Yes. You did well, Amy. Nobody should follow us, for the time being at least. If it weren't for Amy's quick thinking and skill, we'd be done for. I can't protect her with only a sword. You do too much for me, Raffi. You are supposed to be my guest, yet it is I who remain in your debt. You have allowed two strangers into your home, Lord Dumas. I am simply returning your kindness. My servants speak very highly of you, too. You possess great wisdom, quick judgment, and charity. That is why I feel most distressed. Will you not rethink dueling on my behalf? Certainly not, my lord. I am your sword and staff. I merely wish to protect your honor and name while you are ill. Battle one. Fight! <laughs> Good, Raffi. Seeing your devotion has made up my mind. What do you mean, my lord? Listen, Raffi. 
I will soon meet my end, and I have no child of my own. It would make me so happy if you would become the heir to my fortune. However, I have one request. I am overwhelmed by your generosity. What is your request? That girl, Amy, is it? She is not your daughter, correct? If you are to become my son, you should send her away to an orphanage, perhaps. As I have said before, she seems to be a great weight around your neck. <laughs> I did not expect you to say such a thing. How about we continue this conversation over some tea? I recently managed to obtain some fine, rare chinaware from the East. Thank you. How are the lessons going? Very good, young master. The girl will grow into a fine lady. On his return, my lord will be struck dumb in disbelief. Still... Raphael, I think I'm more suited to sword practice. Can't you teach me, like you used to? Amy, you're smart enough to understand. If you want to carve a future for yourself, you need an education and manners. I know, but you meanie. As you can see, there is still some way to go. Amy. Can I really can offer, offer Amy a bright, bright future, future like, like this? this? I, came I came to this, this reading room looking for answers, answers. but I'm, I'm coming, coming up empty-handed. Empty -handed. Ample finances, a safe place, a fine education. Despite the freedom this lifestyle offers, it's not enough. Hmm. This letter. Report on the evil seed. Could it be? There's no mistaking it. This is research on that abominable evil seed. Malfestation? Madness? The evolution of humanity? Interesting. It all sounds so fantastical. This was written by Scholar of the Future. Who could that be? Hmm? Soul Edge. A cursed sword that feeds on souls? Raphael? I see. An exchange is made for power. Maybe this sword is the key. What is it, Raphael? Oh, Amy. Why the long face? I was waiting for you to come back. I thought maybe you were mad about earlier. I've been scared recently. I never knew what it felt like to have something to lose till I met you. You have nothing to fear. I shall make you the perfect world. Raphael? Are you in here? Hmm? Of course. Here's a thought. How about some hot chocolate for a change? The names of the warriors whose fates were bound to the two swords have been etched into the very fibers of history. It's well hidden, but all the documents point to the same thing. The Cursed Sword Soul Edge gives power in exchange for the wielder's sanity. With this sword, I can put a stop to the petty wars between the nobles and create a new perfect world for Amy. <sighs> Another late night. I wonder whether Amy's already asleep.
The day has long come to an end as Raphael leaves the reading room in the outbuilding and heads for the main house. Every step he took as he hurried toward his dear Amy, his legs became heavier. The familiar walk felt longer than usual, as though it was leading to somewhere different. I've been waiting for you, Raphael Sorel. Who are you? Oh dear, kindly don't point that thing at me. I'm simply here to ask you what you're planning. For the sake of humanity's future, I hasten to add. Humanity's future? You must be. It was the so-called scholar of the future standing before him. Raphael explained his plan, pausing to ask questions about the cursed sword from time to time. But he was aware that at any moment, a fight to the death might erupt. Oh my! So you intend to give Soul Edge to the nobles? Their war will escalate as they try to steal it from each other, at least for a time. Ultimately, however, even the last one standing will perish on account of the sword, thereby ending the chaos. So you wish to turn the Earth into some sort of purgatory? You would sacrifice the innocent masses so? They live as if they were already dead, but they will become the foundation of a new world, giving their existence meaning. I see, I see. You are fascinating. While our methods differ, I consider you a comrade on account of your lofty ideals. Now, before I go, comrade, I shall test you to see whether you have what it takes to claim the cursed sword. Feast your eyes on my rapier, the creator of a new world. Soul Edge before any other. There are others? Then I must hurry. Should you be wounded by the cursed sword, use this medicine. It will neutralize the poison, hopefully before you completely transform into a monster. Bon voyage. <laughs> hmm. Before Raphael knew it, the strange man was gone and he was following the spiral staircase up to Amy's room. Though the medicine vial was new to him, it felt as though he had carried it all his life. Amy, are you asleep? I'm going on a journey. A journey to make you the perfect world. Raphael, don't go. Sorry to wake you. I'll stay by your side until you fall back to sleep. Good night, my dear, precious Amy. So began the grand yet perverse plan, devised by one for the sake of another. When a twisted soul seeks the cursed sword, the cogs of history once again begin to turn.
The names of the warriors whose fates were bound to the two swords have been etched into the very fibers of history.